Hello and welcome to our podcast, Real Out Loud. Join us and together we'll be engaging in conversations about the truths not spoken of, reflections about life and other issues and experiences that real or bring women off balance. I'm your host and my name is Nicole and joining me will be my co-host, Inkinia, and on our platform, we'll have guests from different facets of life, some who have also had a trail with life, and some professionals to give us information on these reflections as we figure out how to survive the real. Thank you so much for taking your time to tune in, sit with us, to share with us, and you are with Pinky Nia, and with my co-host, of course, Nick Nick. Hi. Hi, Pinky. How are you? I am awesome. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Okay, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're always complimenting me, but have I ever complimented you before? <laughs> you do. You compliment me with gifts. Yes. Really? I just wanted to also appreciate you. We are happy to have you on this platform. We are happy for the liveliness that you bring to you know certain sensitive topics that we talk about on this platform. We enjoy your energy. Mm-hmm. Keep up the good work. <laughs> You too, my life. Thank you. Yes. So I'm trying to compliment you and we are talking about compliments, which leads us to the topic that we're going to discuss for today, Pinky. We are going to discuss desperation and you realize where the need for approval, the need for acknowledgement comes in. So Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking Mm -hmm. survival emotions develop long over before we are even confronted with difficulties, hardships, or setbacks. And we really need to do an internal investigation or assessment as people, as individuals, so that we are able to fully be aware and conscious and know Mm -hmm. what our emotions, our internal experiences need. Because our inner world have a way of defining how we experience Experience the external compass of our lives in general. So sure. that's why today we are going to talk about desperation. I feel like desperation, it's, it's basically a foundation for regret. Okay. <laughs> Interesting I, way to start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it, it is a foundation for regret. It's mm. in my head, in, in my in my train of thoughts right now. Why? Because <laughs> desperation will definitely want to make you to feed the immediate needs, you know, mm. or at the expense at the expense of the long term needs. Okay. That's an interesting you, fact there. <laughs> <laughs> desperation is, is, is a now factor. It's what do I do now? I'm feeling this discomfort now. I want to quickly change it, but I'm not thinking about <laughs> what's going to happen in the future when I make this particular decision. That's an Foundation interesting... for regret. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, we hear it again. This is the person behind the regrets, the regrets <laughs> episode. Just tune in and hear what she was talking about when it came to regrets. Eh? <laughs> okay. So I'm just thinking... I'm just thinking, now that you introduced it in that way, I'm just thinking, what are the times that actually lead us to desperation? Uh, Sometimes it it is when we feel we are being deprived of what we are worth or what we deserve. Okay. Hmm. It's it's a feeling of hopelessness or helplessness. Okay. So now you're like, I need to show them who I am or "I I need to show my worth. Okay. Then you you end up doing something stupid. <laughs> okay. You so you're it. saying literally a person starts when a person is desperate, they are feeling like they have no way out. There's no, no you're not that saying desperate way, means feeling cause stuck. For desperate, yes, you're mm. feeling stuck. Desperate it's, times call for desperate measures. <laughs> uh-huh, <laughs> Which means uh-huh. that you are willing to settle for anything. In, no my and no you my you end up compromising even some of your values and your sense of El, self 
a lot. I, I think you, like you're on a drag or uh, you just need those things done. Like I need to be out of this situation right now. How do I get it up? Oh How do my I get goodness. Who, who has a solution? Bring it, bring it. I'm out. <laughs> and when you mentioned that, I was just thinking of someone who is having a drug withdrawal like experience <laughs> how they become shaky and desperate and i'm like mm -hmm. this is definitely what we are talking about right now <laughs> <laughs> it is so who, who is. actually determines what our worth is i'm just thinking who determines what you are worth as a person depends yeah. on the value you give yourself okay oh that of society yeah. Sometimes society Definitely. is the one which gives us, you know, what we are worth unconsciously or sometimes they do it in an informal way and it gets stuck mm -hmm. to us as a person. Could be either your career, your skill, your energy, your time, uh, being resourceful, your abilities, your talent, your, talent. your innovation or even your what, your status, right? Yeah. We were still talking about... um. Uh, some of the things that lead to desperation. I'm thinking from a from an emotions perspective. I like the fact that you said that you are willing to escape certain feelings. And what, that's one of the things that I've realized is people, we struggle the most with our emotions because we are trying so much to change what we are feeling. We make decisions based on what we are feeling in that moment. And that if moment, I'm having yeah. a setback right in front of me, or a, a difficulty right in front of me, the likelihood is that I'm going to focus on the feeling more than I focus on what has brought this setback. So then, which means that it's going to lead me to desperation. So whatever that I'm going to do, I'm going to be paying attention, too much attention to, am I feeling better now? Is the feeling changing? Or oh, what as feeling. I proceed? But mm -hmm. actually, I'm losing sight of what the plans, the long-term plans, the vision, the goals all that right so what are these signs of desperation how do we see that when we settle for anything the same desperate for money mm. then uh, now i'm not considering my qualifications i'm not uh, considering work experience i am just saying whatever you have right now i'll take it okay so you're whatever saying you're you are being paying, too available you're yeah. being too available, but you're not setting a standard for yourself, whether mm -hmm. it comes to work, friendships, or even relationships. You're settling for anything. You, mm. you like a vision anything. board. You don't have direction, Jay. You're like, a, you know, a plastic bag. <laughs> Wherever, <laughs> if the wind blows to the east, it goes. You are the... If, if the wind goes to the north, it goes. It doesn't have like, you know, that that thing of holding itself together. So sometimes mm -hmm. desperation makes us to be like that as individuals as well. Yeah, we end up accepting things that are less of our worth. Mm. That is, if we even know our worth. Okay. Yeah. You end up compromising your standards, your principles, your, standard, your integrity, yourself, uh, your identity. Mm. Don't you have any of that? I think I... Have you ever been desperate to the point of pleasing, <laughs> wanting to please people? I remember at interviews, guys, we lie. <laughs> I can work under pressure. <laughs> I'm a hard worker. <laughs> yes. Yes. Why do we say all those th things, guys? We are doing yeah. it. We, are, we want to please these work. people because we are desperate yeah. to get the job. <laughs> and then two weeks down the line, you are like a you are like a deflated tire. You, mm -hmm. you are not even running around like you were promising no. that I'm a hard worker. You're a zombie. When you're pressure a zombie comes now. When pressure comes you're all over the place. Imagine Because you're giving you're giving a more you're giving more than you see. Regret. So oh, that's regret. Yeah. So people who want who 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 are desperate, sometimes they want to please, they want to seek reassurance, validation. Mm approval and acknowledgement remember the time when i was talking about uh, i want to appreciate you i want to acknowledge you some people actually go out just for that they make themselves too available because they want to be validated they want to be approved and seen for what they are worth 
do people get desperate in in relationships? Exactly. That's where the seeking reassurance and validation mostly happens. If they don't say I'm beautiful, then they don't love me. If they don't treat me a certain way, or if they don't act a certain type of way towards me, then that's a sign of desperation there. Or sometimes settling for something, just say, ah, you know, you know, this guy is cheating a lot and she's just like, ah, mm-hmm. I just, I just want to get married. I just want to settle. You're desperate for I just marriage. Want to f- I just want a family. You make compromises that are not even worth making. I want financial stability. Mm. Sometimes we, we become clingy as people. That's how we are desperate in, 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 in relationships. Having mm-hmm. those hounding behaviors, being so possessive of the other person, like they belong to you or stalking their social platforms or whatever they are doing. And some attention-seeking behaviors, wanting attention, a lot of attention. Those are some of the things. Mm-hmm. So no, basically, de- desperation makes us to compromise things that are important as well. And at, at the expense of the things that are not important what what do you think about work situations, Pinky? How do people show desperation at work? The first thing that comes to mind is uh, searching for any amount salary, you know, accepting. Okay. This, yeah, we'll give you this much. You're like, yeah, okay, okay, thank you. You work overtime, thank you. Or they Maybe ask you, you how much do you want? They're like, anything will what, work for me. Anything, whatever you give <laughs> Selling yourself short. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, you know, when you apply many positions in a company. <laughs> Imagine if the HR manager. <laughs> and then I see Pinky's, Pinky's CV on the cleaners. I see Pinky's CV on the accountants. I see Pinky's CV on the secretary. I'm like, does this person really know what they want? Sometimes people, yes, everyone goes through a difficult time. But sometimes, guys, we need to know when we are not overdoing it. I think we all get Mm. to a point where we become desperate, Pinky, whether we like it or not. With me, I get so desperate about things that I'm so passionate about. When it comes to my work, I'm very passionate about my work. We all have that place. Some people are very strong with relationships. So just to provoke your thought, just think about some of the places where you really exercise that desperation. I think desperation, Pinky, it disarms our resilience, our ability to be strong and to withstand situations because remember we said you're trying so hard to change that immediate feeling of discomfort so if if you can't stand something then it means that you don't have the know-how to be strong or to withstand whatever that is happening in that moment so literally you're gonna become unhappy over time it starts to affect you as a person in terms of your ability to be happy is depleted you become unhappy. You start to Definitely have self-esteem unhappy. issues. Imagine right. you're always complimenting other people, but they don't see you. That's another they thing. They don't know you. How is it going to benefit me six months down the line? That's why you find the person gets the job. Okay, you get the job. You're fine now. Then what? What now? Okay, you're then married what? now. Then what? Then what? You start to struggle again. You're looking for something again, and you're always looking for something. Because so you, poor, mm, poor decision making, and you can't necessarily get it, and not validate it. And you know, sometimes you never really achieve anything if you have a foot in every door. Like you were saying, yes. you're applying this job, that job, that one, that one. You you can't have a, your foot in every door. You won't achieve anything out of your goals. Yes, because I think it's it's more draining as well to mm. be to be all over than to be focusing on one thing, mm. then get that that thing achieved than mm. to because you're always leaving things half done. Mm. And you never ever finish anything. When you understand the stronger the why, it then 
everything becomes easy for you to understand. Why do I really want this thing so bad? Why do I Why? really want to be in this relationship? Why do I really want yeah. this person? Right. There are many choices right. of other things that I could settle for and at a later stage. Why do I want it now? Why am I impatient not to be able to wait mm -hmm. for later? Mm -hmm. That will help you to understand some of the things that are the driving force behind your desperation as well. True. And I'm very impatient. I'm one person who's very impatient. And if you ask yourself, why am I impatient? You will likely discover a lot of things that you didn't know about. There are certain ways that people can actually try to help themselves out of being desperate. It starts okay. in the mind anyway, and then it is processed. And then it yeah, becomes... Yeah, definitely mind, mindfulness. Being mm. in the present moment. You know, the reason why we become so desperate sometimes, we are thinking about the future too much or what could be, yes. and we forget yes. to fully experience what we are in this, what is happening around us in this moment. So you need to be able to ground your thoughts. You need to be able to ground your mind, not to start yes. thinking, if I don't marry this guy, even if he's cheating me, eh, where else am I going to find someone else to marry me? <laughs> what if I don't find someone else? <laughs> Who told you? How do you know about your how future? How do you know? The Bible says our future is not known to us. Why are you overwhelming yourself going too much into things that you shouldn't know about. So mindfulness in terms of develop and build your confidence. Definitely. To face, yeah, to face your own situations, develop and build yourself, mm. your confidence. It is very important to know who you are mm. as, as a person, self-identity. Mm. You know why we become desperate when we mm. don't have confidence? It's because we are looking for other people to other people is solutions to our problems. Let's kind of like break it down a little bit just to help someone quickly on how can you build your confidence? So to build to build confidence, actually, mm. uh, learning new skills, you know, to enhance old ones. You might be Nicole, the accountant, but then learning new skill out of that, mm. marketing or something you you enjoy doing as well, mm. or enjoy learning cooking. Something you have a I talent am, and a gift in. Me, yes, mm. I am. I am learning how to bake at the moment. It's a disaster, but I'm learning. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. So learn new skills, uh, enhance old ones, mm. and also have mantras to go by. You know things that you tell yourself on a day to day basis. Mm boosting yourself you know i've seen no. people that laugh at people who actually do mantras they say you're being over don't you think you're being overconfident there's a lot of negativity towards mantras but people you underestimate think, the power that yes. mantras have because your mind believes you more than anyone else so what it, you say it, it, to yourself exactly. sticks and it becomes a part of you and I want to encourage someone, you know, like mostly because we do our mantras in front of the mirror every morning mm. or every night or I want to take it outside. Mm. You know, there's, there's a difference between when you're inside and then when you're outside. When you're inside because it's, it's, it's you, it's your space, it's, you are exactly. comfortable in that space. Mm. Go out there in your car to work or when you step in, into your office building, mm. tell yourself those mantras like, Prepare yourself. Mm. Boost Before yourself. you even start the day, you know, I got Before this. Before you start the day. I got this. Before you start There's the going day. to be challenges. It's not going to be an my easy day. day yes. But I'm going to yes. do this. I need to do this. I have to do this. I am, this I will, me. and I'm capable. Sometimes it's also important to look back to old achievements. I've realized oh, that yeah. at my house, ne, I've got a lot of nicer pictures than the ones that I had for my graduation. But, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes when I'm losing energy, when I'm losing focus of the things that drive me, I just stand there and I look at the pictures. I remember how it felt, how glorious it felt at that point in that moment when I achieved that. Remember, Pinky, I was telling you in one of the other episodes that I had, I think it's the regrets episode, where I was saying mm -hmm. that I had to leave my mom when she was not well. Yes, and I had yes, to focus on yes. my studies and whatnot. 
So yeah. when I go back, like when I'm feeling like I'm losing it a bit and my confidence is starting to struggle, I go in that space where I just look back at my old achievements. I take out my certificates. I go through them. I wear that, you know, that, what do you call it? I don't remember the name, guys. You can share it on the platform. The cap and the other, I don't remember what it is that they give you to show that you have achieved like a bachelor of what, what, you know. Oh, the graduation. The ceremony. outfit itself. I wear yeah. it again and I allow myself to re-experience the moment in my mind so mm -hmm. that I teach mm -hmm. my mind to say, you know what, even if things are not okay now, you still have it in you. That same thing that brought you to that place, you can do more. You can do it. So it's very important to look back to old achievements as well. You also need to learn. <laughs> you can look at your ring. Ne? <laughs> when the relationship <laughs> gets difficult, ne? <laughs> just put your hand up, guys. The same way you used to do that during the engagement to show us that I, I got this. <laughs> Like, you can look at your ring, play around with it a little bit in your finger and remind yourself, you know what? I deserve good things my way. <laughs> and if there's no ring. <laughs> if there's no ring. <laughs> Find one thing that works for you, Pinky. We all have something that we have achieved. It, yeah. it doesn't mean that it has to be anything fancy or too much fancy, out there. Big. Yeah. Because you don't yeah. just pick those things from the streets or the beans. Whatever you work for, no matter you work for. how small, it encourages you what you're capable of. It builds your sure. mind. It makes your mind resilient to, you know, those minor setbacks that can make you to want to be desperate to the point of losing focus of who you are as a person. And I also want to say, you know, we need to learn to find humor in serious things. Yes, definitely. Sometimes as people, we want to take everything serious. But some of the things, we just have to laugh at them. <laughs> I come back from a, an interview that I, I literally bashed. I didn't do well. I come and mm. I laugh about it. You know, what? I'm so desperate for the job, but they... You know how the interview went, what I was saying. Yo, I was <laughs> I, I was just fumbling or laugh at yourself, find humor in that. And then that yeah. that will kind of like help you not to take everything too seriously to the point yeah. that you start to become very desperate. Remember we were talking about how desperation can make you to, to want validation, approval, please yeah. people and yeah. be the oh this person this person who's less accepting. So the moment you find humor, you become accepting of your mistakes. You know that it's humane. It's possible that sometimes you want things, but you won't get them. And it's still okay. It doesn't change anything about who you are. Sometimes you need uh, to read learn mm. read listen to people that talk sense like right now guys yo yeah you're listening to us sometimes yes we fumble <laughs> but sometimes we change your thoughts in a way that it's small true. tiny change we make to your mind that helps you to feel like oh i can do this it's enough it can actually help you to get by remember guys so con confidence without competence is arrogance so if you are struggling with your confidence, yeah. don't be too modest, guys. Sometimes just mm. accept a compliment when it does come. Even uh, fish yeah. for it if you want it. Sometimes ask your partner, how do I look, babe? Do I look good in this? Oh, my friend, you know, I bought this beautiful shoe and I think I'm really looking fly in it. What do you think about it? Fish for the compliments sometimes from people that, you know, mm. they won't crush your spirit. Um, True. Learn to get things done, reduce procrastinating things. Do it anyway. Set goals. Uh, stand up for yourself and do what makes you happy, not what other people think. That's how we build our confidence. So mm -hmm. take not, take not. And I believe we are touching one or two out there. Mm -hmm. The only time you guys are allowed to be desperate is when you're desperate for a real out loud podcast episode. You're allowed to be desperate. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> be desperate <laughs> for good things also. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. you learned something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that you know is what? the only time you're allowed. 
<laughs> and you know what, guys? The other way that you can actually survive this desperation, refuse to sweat for small stuff. Guys, guys, come oh, on. Yeah. Sometimes oh, yeah. we are unhappy because we are sweating for everything and anything. Mm. Remember your worth and don't sweat for the small stuff. What do they say? Hope has no time frame. Mm. Something like that. Mm. Hang in there. Definitely. Hang in there. Mm. Be hopeful and be prayerful. Spirituality. Mm. Oh, spirituality, guys. Be intentional in your actions as well. Not just to do things for the sake of doing them. Because I just want... Mm. I just want... You know, most people that are desperate, they... they act on the desperation because they are trying to prove a point to other people. Exactly. Remember th- it, when I started at the beginning, I was saying that our internal compass starts to determine how we address the external compass. So if I deal with my internal experiences, building my confidence, building you know parts of me, being mindful about what I need and what I want, then it's going to mm-hmm. reduce my attention from going all out to what are other people thinking about me? What are they going to say if I don't have a job? What are they going to say if I'm not married or if I don't have this and that? I'm not in a stable relationship or something like that. Because it's not about people, it's about you. So be intentional about your actions. Have confidence in your step, in in yourself as a person and step into your power. Inhale confidence and exhale doubt. I like that. Inhale confidence and expel, and expel doubt. Yes. Doubt. Mm. I'm going to write it down. So just to wrap it up, let's focus on digging parts of ourselves that have been very desperate. Let's try to understand the driving force behind our desperation. Let's try to work yeah. on the parts of ourselves that are struggling, the parts of ourselves that have forgotten what we are worth that have forgotten our principles, that has forgotten our standards, that has forgotten who we are as individuals. Let us learn mm-hmm. to be mindful, to be present. The journey is not about getting to the destination. It's about how you experience it right now. Whatever you're going through right now, let it be peace. Thank you so much, Nick, Nick for today's episode. Thank really you. learned a lot. Some of these things, I won't even be thinking about them like in my own space. But when you <laughs> talk to me, when <laughs> you are provoking my, my mind in the conversation, some of these ideas tend to come. And I'm sure, as we were discussing, some people actually had better ideas than what we were able to bring on this platform. Please, guys, mm-hmm. let's remember to share those. You can just comment on your thoughts. If you don't want people to see who you are and you've got very fruitful thoughts or pointers that you want to help someone out there, we are welcome to receiving them on our email nicole at reloudloud.co.za For more on our episodes on these relatable conversations, please check us on our website www.reloudloud.co.za or other podcast platforms. Our episodes are also accessible on social media platforms indicated on our website and our YouTube page. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and invite others to our webpage. Ciao!